Good day everyone. Welcome to Engineering Mathematics Review. I'm your instructor, Sir J. Maghanay. For today's topic, uh, we're going to discuss about word problems, how to work on word problems. Of course, let's start with the fundamentals. Um, we need to deal with the statement, the statement translated into algebraic language. Of course, let's have some example first. Okay, a statement and we need to deliver uh, the algebraic form of the statement. So, start with the number one. Twice as much the number. So, if we're going to uh, evaluate the statement, twice as much a number. So, let's start with the unknown. So, let's assume uh, our unknown is x. So, twice. Twice as much the number. So, it is always vital to um, understand the statement of the word problem. So, as much means multiply. Okay, so if we're going to translate this statement into a, a algebraic statement, algebraic form, uh, we can write this as 2x. Okay, so twice as much the unknown. So we have the unknown x, twice as much the unknown. So in algebraic form, that is 2x. So the next number is 2 less than the unknown. We have 2 less than the unknown less than means minus okay so how can you write this one so in algebraic form uh, well, we can write this statement in algebraic form into we have uh, unknown x less than 2 so that is x minus 2 okay so moving on with our third statement five more than the unknown you have five and we have the unknown x more than so more than means positive or sum or plus so we can write this statement into algebraic form as x plus five okay or in a vice versa form okay so the fourth statement three more than more than a man uh, more than twice the unknown we have the unknown x three more so if you're going to rewrite this statement you can have twice the unknown so same as the first one twice the unknown you can write this into 2x then Three more than the unknown so more than means sum or plus so 2x more than the unknown so twice the unknown so three more than twice the unknown so that is plus three yes that's correct that's plus three so our algebraic form here is 2x plus three how about for our fifth statement a number decreased by seven so here we can assume that our number is uh, we let x be the number and by 7 so we have a right but the decrease by 7 means minus so if you're going to write it into an algebraic form that is x minus 7 okay so there are plenty of example but we need to deal with this one by one before we start with the our our actual examples okay so 10 decrease again my decrease means minus so we assume that x is our unknown and 10 decrease by the unknown so okay so we can write this into 10 decrease mean 10 minus the unknown so okay so that is 10 minus x how about in age problem cherish age uh, so we assume that uh, we let x be the age of cherry so four years from now from now means 
this is plus the years and the age okay so if you are going to write that into algebraic form that is x the age of cherry plus four from now how about ago ago means minus so or if you're going to write this into algebraic equation algebraic form that is x dance age minus 10 okay in age problem you from now means plus ago min, minus the number okay how about for in the coins problem uh, number of cents in quarters okay number of cents in quarters we all know that uh, the mnemonics here is penny nickel dime penny nickel and dimes so what is the value for our our dimes that is penny five one nickel five and dimes is ten okay so here we have quarters so it means that is 25 cents okay so if we do if the number of cents in x quarter therefore we can write this this into that is uh, what is the value for a quarter that is uh, 25 cents times x that is 25 x okay how about for dimes number of cents in dimes so we can write the penny nickel dimes that is one five ten then 25 for the mnemonics the dimes is 10 yes that is 10 so we can write this to 2x times the dimes the number of dimes that is 10 cents okay okay moving on to our next example uh, next statement example the number of cents in x plus 5 nickels okay so so we can enclose this x plus 5 the number of nickels in cents so that is yeah how penny nickel dime penny one cent nickel that is five cent dimes is ten cents so this are the mnemonic one five ten about four quarter that is 25 cents going to 50 cents and one dollar okay that is the mnemonics we use in our uh, coins problem penny nickel dimes and quarters okay so so we can write this as, as what yes nickel is five cents so we can write this as five cents uh, x plus five as your algebraic form yes so here uh, separate 17 into two parts means that we have two numbers yes our first number if we let x be our first number so in algebraic forms so x is our first number then how about separate 17 into two parts okay that is the difference of the number 17 so this is our first number is x and our second number is 17 minus our number so that is, that is equivalent to two numbers or two parts our first part is x and our second part is 17 minus x that is in algebraic form okay so about for uh, time rate and distance uh, statement distance travel in x hours as at 50 kilometers per hour okay if you're going to uh, show that is time rate and distance so distance travel in x hours at 50 kilometers so so that is the distance so we can write this in algebraic form as 50 x okay so how about for two consecutive integer okay so here for even and odd they are the same or two consecutive if if two consecutive integer uh, we don't have it it is not defined if it's even or odd our starting uh, statement here has two consecutive number so I mean you have two consecutive number here so that is X and 
x plus 1. Yes, that is x and x plus 1. That is the two consecutive integer. How about for even and odd integers? Two consecutive means you have two numbers. So still x and x plus 2. Okay, don't forget that if you're dealing with integers, if even odd is not mentioned, that is x and x plus 1 if it is two consecutive integers if it's 3 and so forth and so forth okay that is x plus 2 x plus 3 how about for two have three consecutive integers that is x and x plus 2 then x plus 4 then and so forth so as long how many uh, integers are given so how about for interest that is our uh, next statement interest on dollar for uh, a year at five percent so if you're going to rewrite this into statement so you have uh, interest uh, uh, you need to write five percent into a decimal form that is the 0 0.05 how about for x dollar okay uh, interest means it is on x dollars a year so that is five percent of the dollar the number of the dollar uh, okay, the same uh, in an economic problem, uh, $20,000 separated into two parts. Okay, so we assume, li like here, separate 17 into two parts. So our first num first uh, is to assume a number. Then our second number is the, to separate $20. So that is, it's clear, that is, that is $20, $20,000. Minus x, so that is our number, our x, and the second number. How about distance travel in three hours? So distance travel in three hours, we can rewrite this is two, three hours x or three x. Okay. How about distance traveled in forty minutes at x hours or forty minutes? So if you're going to convert from minutes to hours, okay, just convert the forty minutes into hour form. Multiply by eight, that is two third, that is equivalent to two third if it is in fraction form. Okay. Simple conversion from minutes to hours. That is two x over three. Okay. Moving on to our next example. Okay. So sum of the number and twenty. So sum of a number. So we have a number. Uh, if we assume x is our number, so that is the sum sum means plus right so sum of a number and 20 so that is our algebraic form. how about the product don't forget there's a product means multiplication if you assume if x is our number so the product of a number and three so that it means multiplication so that is 3x okay how about for the quotient oh this fraction means division quotient of a number and an eight it means that it's a quotient of a number our x quotient and a number over eight so that is a, the equivalent of our in algebraic on four times as much so we have a number as much so if we have an, a number as x so four times as much so we can write this as four x about for our last statement three is four more than a number so our s becomes equal sign so we have three equal sign four more than a number so we assume x is our number and four more than a number more than means plus okay so we have three equals to our number plus four okay so that is our practice and evalu uh, evaluating uh, the statement of our word problem to algebraic form that's some example where we need to deal with okay uh, facts we need uh, to remember facts to remember uh, twice as much uh, means multiply more than means add decrease means subtract increase means add separate 20 into two marks means to find the two numbers whose sum is 28 okay Uh, percent of uh, a while ago that is means multiply is was will be will become our equal sign in our statement 
uh, that will become our equal sign in algebra when we are formulating our equation from the statement if 7 exceeds by 2 by 5 okay so 7 exceeds by 2 means minus that is 7 minus 2 by become equal 5 okay so exceeds becomes the minus sign okay and by once uh, this is a combination of exceeds and by and by will become our equal sign so i hope this uh uh Facts to remember will help us and help you in evaluating your word problem example. Also, we have a keyword summary. I hope this summary will help you. Uh, for addition, if we encounter this word, at least we know that is addition. That is the sum plus and total increase more raise both combined in all altogether additional and extra. That is more on uh, addition when we are formulating our algebraic equation from our statement. How about subtraction? When you read about, and we read about less than, more than, decrease, difference, reduce, change, lost, nearer, farther, left, remain, fill, and drop. So, minus. How about multiplication? The product of multiplied times as much by is also and twice it becomes a multiplication but this is a combination it becomes also an equal equal sign how about for division divide evenly cut split each every average equal pieces out of ratio shared quotient so that is for our division so i hope this keyword will help you also in formulating your equation in solving the word problem so that would be all and see you on our next video